Hi everyone, welcome to join the cloud native journey to shuttle back and forth applications across edges. This is Ruo Yu and Qiang from Intel who are going to introduce you a brilliant project on how to establish secure and reliable connections between the applications which reside in different edges. And me, Ruo Yu, will first talk about the background and give a brief on the project architecture as well as three significant merits of the project. And then Qiang will show us a very concrete demo on how we use the project in an actual scenario. We all know that now the applications and the service have been moved to the cloud. They are usually packed in a cloud-native way as containers or service served on the Kubernetes cluster. Um, benefit from the characteristic of cloud, the applications can be distributed everywhere depending on the user's need. They could be located in the traditional center, data center, on the public cloud, or on the edge clusters reside in the telecos branch office, or even in the local device. The dynamic deployment really um, gives a lot more good to the users to reduce latency, um, to uh, like get a, some hardware from the cloud or to lower the cost, but it also brings huge problems for the operators. So here are listed several challenges we may met in networking. First of all, management complexity. Since the applications are now distributed in different networks, it brings huge problem for management. Second, security risks. Data are now flowing on different links, so there could be more chances to face the security threats, such as data breach or data loss. Third, application performance unpredictability. So the client may need to go several rounds to actually finally reach the application. Any trouble um, we find in the route will trigger an inconsistency in the application of performance. Fourth, configuration conflicts. This is usually seen in the edge scenario, like the private cloud. It will be more likely that the private cloud will set up identical subnets or IP address. So it will be hard for them to talk to each other. Fifth, monitoring and maintenance. Since the applications are now distributed everywhere, it's very hard for the operator to maintain the whole flow. Here I also listed several solutions targeting on these challenges, such as SD1, Secure Internet Gateway, Zero Trust Network Access, and our project SDE1. We could see that our project could be the most suitable solution. So what's SDE1? Currently, it's an enhanced version of SD1. It's short for Software Defined Edge One. It is a project targeting on bringing up reliable, secure, and fully functional network connections for applications which reside on different edges. The project itself consists of three components. The overlay controller, which manages the um, configuration generation and distribution in the central cloud. The CRD controller, which utilizes the Kubernetes custom resource to do the configuration setup. The CNF, which um, includes multiple network functions such as firewall to actually bring up the uh, turnoff. The three components will help to set up the network connection to allow the applications to talk to each other smoothly and securely, even they are residing on different edge edges. I will then use three of, three of its uh, critical merits to elaborate more. First, ease of use. The SDE1 manages the network configurations in an automated manner. Utilizing the overlay controller in the cloud, the clusters reside in the same overlay can easily establish network connections with a simple registration to the overlay API. This greatly reduces the burdens of operate for operators to manage the connections between. The built-in SLBs will also guarantee the stable performance for the applications. 
As I mentioned before, the security risks are a big concern for both users and operators. Using IPsec to set up tunnels between guarantees a safe, secure data transfer. Key protection and crypto, crypto support are integrated inside to um, address physically insecure edge. The CNF also provides a fully functional firewall to do the content filtering to meet the common security need. Flexibility. All three components are atomic. They can be used totally as an overall solution or it can be used separately with other frameworks. This is mainly because they are based on the Kubernetes custom resource. Any framework that can adopt this kind of mechanism is able to use the CNF or the CRD controller separately. So speaking of flexibility, we do have an example. Let me hand over to Chow for the demo. Okay, let me see a simple case. In this case, the SD1 project will have to extend the usage of source mesh to provide the load balancing worker across the edges. This will transfer the details on the cross edge collaborations. The requests come from the client will transmit through the hub and reach the application reside on the edge with proper load balancing strategies. In this diagram, the hub Edge 1 and Edge 2 are isolated Kubernetes clusters. But the difference here is that the hub cluster comes with a public IP and the Edge 1 and Edge 2 are residing in a private network with no public IP address. Every cluster contains at least one SD1CF to build up the external connection. SD1 only controller generates and manages the configuration to set up IPsec turnoffs between the CF in the edge and hub for data transmission. So the client request to the application will pass through the hub to the edge properly. In this scenario, we integrated SD1 with Surface Mesh. In our case, it's Histo to accomplish load balancing and Use mutual TS for authentication. The sample application Hello Host use Easto to expose a service hardened by mutual TLS, which will retain a response include the class name. On the half side, Surface Entity got set up to have the edge application involved in the hub mesh and do load balancing in the virtual service. An extra SD1CF is using half side to expose the service. The client request first comes into extra CF on the hub and redirect to the Easto ingress gateway through DNet. Then the request will hint the configuration of virtual service and select one of the service entries. Let's assume its choice H1. Next, the data will redirect to the CF pod using the route on the host and pass it to H1CF through IPsec tunnel. Then hitting the Easto gateway inside the edge, and finally arrive at the application port and return the response. This flow involves two phase self-configured mutual TS authentication. The first is from the client to the hub Easto ingress gateway, and the second is from the hub service entry to the edge Easto ingress gateway. I have already described the whole architecture, and next, let me show the demo. The left pane is the machine simulating the client that would like to access the application through the hub, and the right top is the H1 cluster, and the below is H2 cluster. We do several tests on the client side. Now we could see the request is almost equally sent to two edges. That's all. Thanks for your attention. Hopefully you enjoy our journey and can utilize our work in more scenarios.